What's good, family? Hi, OBA. I'm TC, and this is the Awareness Channel. All right, before I get started, before I get started, I'll show you all the piece in the back, the yellow headscarf, and the captive. As you can see, the captive is in charcoal. The brother got chains around his ankles, sitting in the bottom of a slave ship. And we can see the beautiful sister adjusting her yellow headscarf. Sister is in acrylic. I had done one in watercolor, but I sold it. And of course, the brother on the slave ship is in charcoal. Both of them for sale. As you know, you can reach out to me uh, uh, in my email at uh, tcedwards12 um, at gmail.com. tcedwards12 at gmail.com. And we can talk about how you can get yourself one of these pieces. You know, they took down Jason Black's channel, the Black Authority, for a little while. It's back up by now, at least as, as of uh, 11 o'clock this morning when I checked, they had, they had put the channel back up. But they took his channel down for a little while. And I'm guessing it's because of the um, last podcast he did where he was talking about that New York Times article about American descendants of slavery written by a lady named Farrah Stockman. Um, and, um, you know, how she came out all fucked up out the side of her neck about the American descendants of slavery. Um, I read the article. I read that shit top to bottom. And uh, it was some crazy shit up in there. I mean, it was fucked up on a bunch of different levels, that article. But before I get into that article, I got to say this now. And I said this a thousand times, I'm going to say it one more fucking time. American descendants of slavery is a lineage. Anybody from any walk of life with black skin and was a descendant of slavery in America is ADOS, whether they want to be or not. Foundational black Americans, my own personal view, me talking to my microphone, foundational black Americans... Some of them were slaves, and some of them were not. Foundational black Americans. I say some of them were slaves, and some of them were not. If you call ADOS foundational black Americans, then all of them were slaves. But foundational black Americans means to me that group of black people who were free, their ancestors were free, they came to this country as freemen, and they were never, their family was never enslaved in any part of the South or anywhere else in the country. However, they were here from the beginning and helped make the country what it is. That, to me, is a foundational black American. Somebody whose family never experienced slavery. they probably fucking Republicans right now. Some shit like that. But that, to me, is what a foundational black American is. And ADOS is an American descendant of slavery. That's it right there. Now, having said that, and I'm going to say this one more fucking time, an American descendant of slavery can be gay, straight, Democrat, Republican, liberal, Catholic, Baptist, Buddhist, whatever the fuck. That is just how varied that demographic is. And when people don't understand that, to me, they're doing themselves a disservice. They really are. They're just talking some bullshit. Because everybody who claims to disagree with, with the ADOS movement seems to be highly educated people. And if they can't understand what a goddamn lineage is, maybe they're talking about a subject that they really shouldn't speak on. American descendants of slavery. That's what we are. American descendants of slavery is owed a debt by this country in the form of reparations. However, however, that is not the only goddamn issue on the black agenda. The black agenda is long. It is. It's long. It's not just fucking reparations. Like I said in that, in, you know, that that's our main motherfucking thing. It's not our main thing. Oh, wait, we check that. It's one of our main things. 
It's one of our main motherfucking uh, agenda platform items. Reparations for slavery. That, we also know, is going to take a long fucking time. But there's a lot more on our agenda that these fucking Democrats can, can address that might swing our vote their way. But until one of them does that, then we can't and will not vote for them. And that's it. And we don't advise anybody else to. If ain't nobody promising you shit, why do you vote for them? If ain't nobody promising you shit, why do you vote for them? If ain't nobody talking to you directly, why do you vote for them? And nobody is talking to us directly. So we tell people, unless somebody is really respecting you, then don't vote for them. I don't give a shit whether they're Democrat, Republican, or Independent, or whatever. And that's where we're at right now. And people don't seem to understand that. They're calling it fucking voter suppression and talking that shit about how we are similar to white nationalists and we are just like Donald Trump as far as uh, uh, immigration goes. Look, we anti-immigrant like Donald Trump. It go like this right here. Go like this right here. We're not anti-immigrant. I'm not anti-immigrant. My wife is an immigrant. We're not anti-immigrant. What we are is pro-ADOS. We ain't never been anti-immigrant. Matter of fact, immigrants know we ain't never been fucking anti Man, listen. I've been listening to music made by immigrants since 1980 when I kind of fucking pretty much divorced regular R&B because it was not talking about anything. I started listening to reggae music. I started listening to um, dubs and, you know, Naya Bingi and all that shit. Back in night, I've been Rasta since, since 1980. The first time I listened to a Bob Marley record, I never looked back. That is how black Americans woke black Americans feel about our culture, our, our, our the culture of our people who are from the Caribbean and from Africa. But they didn't feel that way about us. They didn't feel that way about us and they still don't. Like I said before, we love y'all motherfucking asses. Uh, Africans and Caribbeans and wherever else y'all come from. We dug the shit out of y'all. We thought y'all was cool as fuck. Y'all was the closest we came to our black culture because ours had been stripped and robbed from us. Our true culture, all we had was this shit we had to create based on what white people do. But y'all didn't give a fuck. Y'all, did. y'all hated us. Had all kinds of fucked up names for black Americans. So now, now, we taking control of our own motherfucking reputation, I guess. And people got a problem with that. Like this lady said. People got a problem with that. She called a, a few agitators on the on the internet are exploiting the differences. Get the fuck out of here. Ain't no first ain't no ain't no agitators. That's just another way of saying black identity extremists. Ain't no fucking agitators. And the American descendants of slavery movement is in the millions, not a few thousand. It's in the millions. Tariq Nasheed is not a leader in the ADOS movement, nor is Antonio Moore or Yvette Carnell. They are just the people who coined the phrase and coined the term and, 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 and defined the meaning. And now we're pushing the agenda. But it's the ideology that's the leader of the movement. And any one of them will tell you that. It's the ideology that's the leader of the movement. So y'all can target Tariq, and y'all can target whoever the fuck y'all want to target. But you can't kill the motherfucking movement. You can't can't change our identity. So I just wanted to get on here and say that. I just wanted to get on here and let people know that the American descendants of slavery is a goddamn demographic. We're not going anywhere. And if... Nobody really, no Democrat really wants to talk to us. Well, fuck, get ready for another years, uh, four years of Donald Trump. 
I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that that motherfucker gonna get reelected. He gonna get reelected. And if if there's any silver lining in that black cloud, it will be that black people won't fall asleep again. American descendants of slaves will not fall asleep again. I think that ain't no racism in this country. Another four years of that motherfucker and his crew might have a unifying effect on us like nothing else before. And like I said, like I said, I can't wait to see that motherfucker after eight years in the White House. He's going to be towed up from the motherfucker flow up. He really is. You think he's fucked up now? Wait till after about mm, six years. And he got the motherfucking Democratic um, House of Representatives and the Democratic Senate all up in his ass. Watch what six years in the White House will do to Donald Trump. It's going to be fun watching that motherfucker crumble. And another motherfucking Republican going to take his place. But it'll just be fun watching him crumble. Unless some Democrat comes over and talks to the black voters and the black electorate directly and address our fucking agenda directly and come up with some tangibles. Something that will affect our lives and bring us some kind of goddamn benefit from living in this country. Something tangible. I guess that's it for now, y'all. I'm going to get this workout on. I got to do leg legs tonight, so that means I got to squat. But uh, anyway, I'll catch y'all on the next one. TC, and I'm out.